how many boolean functions are possible with three variables such that there are exactly uh, three min terms it means that the functions if you write the functions then uh, okay first of all how many min terms will be possible totally i mean uh, I'm, i'm not min terms how many inputs are possible the rows with three variables the number of rows that will be possible is 8 why every pos every variable can take two possibilities therefore the input combinations we have is 8 and they are saying that exactly three min terms should be there which means out of these eight combinations only three combinations have to be assigned one and all the other combinations have to be assigned zero right so they are saying how many ways can you assign three ones to eight elements if you didn't understand it so what they are trying to say is let us say three variables is a b c right and now if you look at the table how many combinations will be there for the inputs since there are three variables there are they are supposed to be 2 power 3 because all the three variables are boolean variables so assume that it is boolean variables since nothing is given assume that it is boolean variables right otherwise they will give you something now three variables are given therefore uh, if you look at all of them it is it look like this 0 0 0 let me represent with 0 likewise 1 likewise 2 likewise 3 4 5 6 7 right so if you have all these rows then how many uh, they are saying that exactly three min terms should be there which means only three uh, input combinations should be given one and all of them have to be given zero so how many ways you can give there are many ways right so 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 or 1 0 1 1 and then 0 0 0 0 so there are many ways you could write so i could i could write it as this if i have eight combinations out of which i am going to choose three combinations and i am going to assign them uh, this particular value one and for the remaining you need not talk about them because if you have assigned only if you have assigned one for uh, three combinations obviously the others got zeros therefore the number of combinations or the number of functions you have is 8c2 right and now similarly you can you know extend this question to any any longer for example let us say they are saying that how many functions are possible with um, at most three min terms let us say with at most three min terms so what is the meaning of it so we have to just go till the point Uh, where there is you know where we assign at most three so the number of min terms could be zero or the number of min terms could be one the number of min terms could be uh, two three that's it right and for this also just uh, assume that three variables three boolean variables are given three boolean variables are given and they are asking you about how many functions should be there uh, how many functions are possible with at most three min terms so how can you write it uh, watch this one 8c0 which means among all the eight inputs i'll not give any min terms at all then 0 plus 8c1 the number of functions which have exactly one min term plus 8c2 it is nothing but number of functions which have exactly two min terms 8c3 number of min terms which have exactly three min terms therefore what we wanted is at most three min terms therefore i got at most three min terms and beyond that i i don't want to assign it right and uh, you know similarly uh, at least three min terms means 8c3 plus 8c4 so you could extend it like this got it so so what i mean to say is assume that there are k variables k variables then how many rows are possible 2 power k right then depending on how many min terms they wanted to assign you can get those many functions let us say they wanted to assign they wanted to get m m min term functions which means the function should contain exactly m ones to the you know to these combinations among all these combinations you can choose any m m combinations and assign them one that is nothing but functions containing exactly m min terms then how can you write it 2 ck c m this is normal formula i mean you need not by heart it i'm just generalizing it so don't by heart it you could derive it anyway right so in case 
if it is not a binary variable then what happens depending on the type of the variable this two changes if it is a ternary variable how many rows do you get this this you are going to change got it and then uh, min terms uh, if you have to define min terms and max terms generally you have to talk about uh, binary variables and then binary functions which means variables can take two values and functions can take two values okay so this is how you can uh, write about it one interesting po uh, point about it is there is something called as neutral functions neutral functions means okay we shall talk about it let's see this how many neutral functions neutral functions how many neutral functions are possible with some certain uh, boolean variables let us say the given input is two boolean variables with two boolean variables how many neutral functions are possible so a neutral function is a function in which number of min terms is equal to number of max terms which means the number of ones should be equal to number of zeros among all the inputs for example if i have two variables two variables a and b they can take 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 then what are all the functions what are all the neutral functions i have so 0 0 1 1 right 1 1 0 0 or 1 0 1 0 or mm, 1 0 1 0 1 right or 1 0 0 1 or 0 1 1 0 check it how many do you get 1 2 3 4 5 6 yeah 6 so uh, these are all the neutral functions possible I mean there is only one thing about neutral functions is number of min terms should be equal to number of max terms no other special property maybe if you would like to see what they are see this function is nothing but uh, whatever is in a you are seeing it here therefore this is function is nothing but sorry a right and what about this function this function is a complement and what about this function this function is b complement this one is b and this one is Mm, x nor I guess so what is it it is 1 1 is 1 0 0 is 1 yes x star and this one is exclusive r right so exclusive r and exclusive r so this, these are the neutral functions we have so neutral function is nothing but see these, these names doesn't have any significance I'm just writing it just you know, so to show you how they how they could be written that's it they don't have any significance compared to the you know in coming to the neutral functions only one thing is in neutral functions the number of min terms and number of max terms should be equal then how many min terms do you think are possible so here i i have four completely four combinations four input combinations and out of these four input combinations i can choose any two input combinations and give them one ultimate and obviously the remaining two combinations will get zeros right so in general if i have n function n variables n variables then how many inputs will be there the number of inputs possible will be 2 power n right and among all the inputs you assign to half of them the value 1 and the remaining half the value 0 so then what happens among this uh, 2 power n you assign half of them 2 power n by 2 a value of a value of 1 and automatically rest will get a value of 0 then how can you write it 2 power n c 2 power n minus 1 right this is the number of neutral functions that are possible with n boolean variables got it